welcome back to Southern Latitudes. Do you know what time it is? No, it's not this time. <laughs> Actually, what it is, is onion time. <laughs> Although I will say we just got a new tree and uh, that's why the tree's up so early. So let me show you what I got here before we get going. Uh, I ordered onions probably a month to six weeks ago from Dixon Dale Onions and um, well Dixon Dale Company. I'll put the link below in the description. And um, I ordered 200 onions. That's about what this is. Oh, sorry, probably like a hundred here. Oh, excuse my text. A hundred here of this, and then a hundred of the reds. And I sorted them over the weekend. You, you unbundle them so they don't start molding. And they come kind of warm. At least they did here in Florida. I'm part of the first set. So you're, if you're north of me, still you can make that order. And they will ship to you. They'll be shipping like all through the spring. But I happen to be one of the first orders since I'm in Florida. And Florida uh, short day onions needs to get in the ground like now. So I did um, the bigger ones and uh, sorted them to medium and then all the way down to the tiny, tiny ones. These will just make little chives or something out of. So anyhow, let's get going. They're going to be at least the first batch. The big ones are going to be right here. And so I pretty much just pulled a Moses and parted the Red Seas or the black ground cover and exposing the two different drip lines in here and as you can see that's beautiful dirt it's actually been covered through months and months so most of the summer this section was covered and so i hope i've done my due diligence in clearing out some of that terrible weeds that were in here i mean obviously i have but i mean hope they don't just come back as soon as they see sunlight but wow, I've had just such a terrible problem with weeds in here, which is why you see all the ground cover. So anyhow, let me trench the center spot and that's where my um, fertilizer is gonna go down the center. I think I'm gonna bring the rows, just I'm gonna slightly pull this row out from under here so it goes in the center and that'll leave room for onion set, drip tube, onion set, drip tube, onion set. So there'll be three rows in here. I think four is going to be pushing it and I think even three is pushing it but quite honestly I, I would like to get some onions out of here some extra onions since this is my only full sunspot unless I make another one somewhere else otherwise I got to go to partial shade in the other gardens so I broke up the ground real good because we've used this as a traveling path pretty frequently this uh, past six months and uh, and I think it was, it was like two and a half months ago or something, Jack went ahead and he did till this area before we recovered it again. But again, it was fairly hard, you know, so I went ahead and just um, loosened it up again. So what I'm doing, I look for ammonium sulfate, which is supposed to be great for putting the leaves on the onions. And I went to two different stores and I could not find it locally, which means I have to order it. And I just, haven't and i may not um just depends you know it's getting to be christmas time and i'll be quite honest with you i'm just gonna i'm just i gotta do things frugally because i gotta buy christmas gifts and i don't think it's that expensive but you know i just haven't because because christmas is adding up and i'm sure it is for you guys too and so i have already bought this 10 10 10 fertilizer which is fantastic. And I'm gonna hit the the tomatoes with it next because they are starting to put on fruit. They're, they got tons of blooms. This week, we are actually today, we're gonna make a dramatic turn from being, you know, 80s days and, you know, 70 to 75 nights. We're gonna start dipping into like 58 to mid 60s nights. And that's perfect time to set fruit for tomatoes. So I'm just going to give them a hit with this 10, 10, 10 as well. So as you can see, I planted that in there. I'm going to turn it, not plant it. I spread it in there just a little bit. I might hit this side a little bit better. And um, I will turn it one more time. Then I'll get my rose started and turn the camera back on. 
you can see I'm just kind of laying them out approximately six inches apart I'm using just you know what was handy in the garden which is a, a garden stake a tight you know I don't know what you call them staple and uh, so it's rough um, some people say you only need four inches some six I'm giving mine a good six so there you go you can kind of see how I'm doing it Let's see if the camera will hold for this. So they say you only need to put onions about it an inch deep. So this soil is nice and moist. I had the emitters running. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> it's really too moist. It's super moist. There we go. both rows are planted this is Texas legend I got two rows of those on each side of the drip tape and then I have southern red no um, southern bell red uh, which is a red onion so I had 62 and somehow I ended up with 66 I think or 64 I, I didn't go all the way to the end count everyone but I think I did close close enough and um, as you can see, this dirt down here is way more uh, wet than the, and the back still has a little bit extra sand mixture to it. So the last thing I'm going to do before I'm done for the day is I'm going to throw a little bit of hay, uh, especially down the center, and um, try to prevent uh, drying on the ground. So I don't want to cover up the greenery too much. I want photosynthesis to happen. But uh, since I have some extra hay up front from the fall little display, um, I'm going to throw just a little bit in here to protect the dirt. Hey, you guys, you know the drill. Don't forget to like it. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below because I'm the talker. I like to talk with people and I like to meet people. And I always love to uh, hear your thoughts on things and, and comments and corrections and additions. And share and you know subscribe yeah we'd always love to have more friends with us take care god bless see you later